it's an update time. It has been months since I did the original video where you saw me build the antenna. And if you couldn't tell, I was wearing a hoodie back in that video. So it's been that long, especially here in Texas where it's been 100 degrees the last several days. Hot. But this is an amazing antenna. I have done a couple of tweaks to it. And um, before we go to the bench and show you what the tweaks are, just gonna give you my final thoughts on this configuration here. I love it, I love it, I love it. When I feel lazy, I only need to take out the band links that I want. Um, nitpicks. This here, been great, I liked it. But overall, I've found the connection with these type of um, clips um, becomes weak over time. And I wish I had put the um, strain relievers in there like Mike did in his uh, NFED linked antenna. Um, I am going to be looking at that at a future update later. The only other tweak I've done is I soldered these connections, which I'm going to show you in a second, uh, these joints to make them a little bit more secure. Um, I got a little carabiner there. I love it. I love it. I love it. Really, really, really useful. And um, it's tuned almost perfectly in a couple of bands. Um, I haven't tweaked it other than that. With that, let's go ahead and head to the bands and I'll show you what I did with the connectors. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each one of these connectors and I'm going to put some solder on them. A couple times the crimp job was a little loose and I'm just going to bolster them so that there is no issues. Also, I need to reverse this antenna. Now, I'll tell you why here in a second. Let's just unwrap this and uh, get started. Now, I'm going to unwrap the 40 meter element first, which is very long. I like to put solder on some crimp connections after they're crimped, not before, it's always after. This crimp job does look pretty good. We just wanna make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna turn my solder iron up to about 800-ish because this wire really sucks heat away. Oh, well, first of all things, tip maintenance. Get that tip nice, pretty, and silver. Hold it there and Ooh, that wire is really heating up. I'm going to do the same for this side. Bring that closer to the camera here. And we just solder the connecting points there and there. Ow! That's still hot. We're going to kind of let that cool for a minute. Come on, come on. And we're just going to pull these apart. Perfect. And that's the 40 meter. Let's go ahead and pull out the next one, which is going to be our 20. Beautiful. We're going to put that 20 aside and we're going to pull off the 17. From how I had this set up when I was tuning it, um, the 17 element was the first element on here. That's not how I want it in my final configuration. Um, in order to get it where I kind of want it, I'm going to remove the wing nut and pull that out. Next, we're going to one of the many pieces of scrap wire that we picked up off the ground. And I am going to make a little jumper for the antenna. I say little, I mean little. And then one end, we're gonna put the ring on it. Cross it with the insulated end, just for giggles. We are going to solder that in place because we don't want this to go anywhere. Next, we're gonna make it female and shove that in there. So the idea is we have this part that's always going to be on the antenna. I might have chose a sm too small. Oh no. No, it's too small. Oh, I should have checked that. I just assumed that it was all the right stuff. But that's the idea. So let me go ahead and show it one time in practice. I need to wrap these elements correct in order. So give me a second. And here's the final antenna all wrapped up. One more time in practice, we undo this. Then this end with the ring hooks onto the antenna and then we'll unwind it, jump cut. And we only wanna play 17 for the day. We'll undo this end, we're left with a male. Then this is the jumper connector that supposedly is gonna go here and then we'll connect it to the antenna 
and now only the 17 meter wire is in play, the rest of it's wind up and out of the way. And while well, 17 meters bad, let's jump to 20. We'll unhook the jumper connection, pull out the next section of the element. Do, 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 do. There it is. Undo that, take the male end, shove it into the little jumper wire. That's connected there. And now we got 20 without the hassle of unwinding all of 40. Well, that is it. That's my antenna build minus one little section, but we'll fix that later. I love this. I love Jason's antenna that we made together and it's beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this all up to all my tankers out there. Go forth and conquer.